we got a half a tank and a four stroke. We ain't gonna burn them more than three gallons. All right, we got a fun one today. At least fun for me. I love fishing the way that we're gonna fish today. It's gonna be kind of hand-to-hand -hand combat, close, quarters, a little bit of moving water, a little bit of colder than normal water, and we're in the aluminum boat today, the Alumacraft Bandit. Got a Mercury four-stroke on back, so it'll be all good, but I love fishing way back in hard to reach, hard to navigate places. And that's what we're doing today. We're gonna go as far up in this one place that we can get, and there's some fish in there. Cause I've been in there before, but I have not been as far as we're gonna go today. Today, hopefully we're gonna go as far as possible. So it should be fun. You know, I, I like fishing like this, and I like fishing out of the old Alumacraft Bandit. For y'all that don't know, have not watched the channel before, this is the first boat I ever fished out of. You know, when I was 12 years old, my parents used to take me to the lake, drop me off in that boat, and I, at 12 years old, I let me get a fishing license, and I got to fish around all day, you know, until they'd come back and pick me up. I had some friends who had family that lived on the lake, and that was kind of our home base, so it wasn't, you know, them just dropping me off, you know, to go be in danger, but it was fun. Had a lot of fun out of it. I will never, ever sell this boat, but back then we had a two-stroke engine on it that was old, and it was like 70-30 that it was not going to crank. 30% of the time, it probably would crank, but we upgraded that a little bit, so now it cranks, and it runs, and now it's a lot more fun to fish out of. If the water was higher, or the boat was bigger, we wouldn't make it out of there. But I think we'll be all right. We're gonna go under it? Yep. We ain't letting this stop our journey, are we? The engine's the question. Am I under it? I think we're gonna make it. I kind of feel like I need to go that way. But then it's gonna be shallow when we get over there. If anyone's looking for a gently used tire, there you go. All right, so we have made our way pretty far back up in the old creek today. I've been this far before, but I haven't been too much further than this. But I brought the aluminum boat today because I wanna go further than I've ever been, further than you can get in most boats. So yesterday, I was at some of Hunter's family's house and we got a creek in his backyard and I was down there just fishing around. I actually hooked one that was for sure a five pounder, maybe a little bit bigger, but I lost him out of a little tiny creek. I mean, unbelievable little creek. Same creek as this, but it was way up where it's a whole lot smaller. And I was just blown away about how big of a fish was in there. So I was like, let's just go up in there and see if we can go catch some. So today we'll see. See if we can catch some. Never know. We might. We might not. I believe we'll catch some. Just don't know if we'll catch anything big. That's okay. 
fishing's tough right now. Very tough right now. So you get some bites right now, you're doing good. And I'm gonna tell you what. Big and dude. No, it ain't. It's a good one though. Big spot. Oh goodness. God, look at that spot, dude. Oh my goodness. Look at that spot. <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, that's like a that's like a three, three and a quarter maybe. He's so fat. What'd you catch him on, Kyle? Little flipping little little creature, little baby creature bait. Where, where are you at? Way back in the way back. Palm and footballs. Look at that sucker. I mean he's a three pounder for real. He looks like discolored. Well, yeah, in the stained water to get a little discolored. Mm -hmm. That's that's legit three pounder. Like if he ain't, he's a 214, he is. Do you love him? Yeah, he's... That's cool. Look at that thing, dude. Hey, there he is. That's kind of what I would have expected to catch out here. He got some sores on them. That's not good. It's, it's kind of not normal for these uh, cold water places either. Usually you got pretty fat fish in here. Got a sore on them. I mean, maybe something cut it. Maybe it's not a disease. It's all under his right there too. I don't know. A little largemouth though. I just was uh, digging. Found some of the smallest creature baits I could find because I was planning on catching stuff like that today. So out here just flipping around. All right. He got it the first time, I just didn't get him. Didn't hook him. Damn. This thing was freaking swimming with it. There we go. It's a nice one too. Mm. Look at that, that's a good spot. I mean, it's close to a two pounder probably. Pound three quarter. I think it's pretty. Another little spot. We done got to the spotted bass hole. One little large mouth, one little spot, two big spots. A little spotted bass. A little like 13 incher. 13. Yeah, probably 13 incher. Got a sore on his side too. He freaking smoked it too. Right off that little point. Alright, trim it down. All right, right there. We walking? Sure. Right, let's go. Sixty-eight percent. All 
the adventure continues but the boat cannot continue we're taking one rod one bait oh is deep <laughs> what are we gonna do about that I mean it's like look look where I'm standing I don't know. I doubt it. Let's go put the boat on the tree. Leave the boat on the tree. That's what I was going to do when it was over there, but I was scared of it moving away. Oh, he's fat. Look at how, look at the belly on that sucker. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> yep. Ripped his mouth open a little bit though because he was fighting. A little spot of bass. He was good. Look in the spots today. I mean, dude, they're pretty spots, too. Look at that thing. Big fins on me. Tell they're healthy fish. Like, look at the size of these fins for the size of this fish. That's just a healthy fish. Check that out. That's tough to complain about. Found three quarters. Pretty fun. <laughs> Alright, so that was pretty dang fun. It's always cool to get back in places that are hard to kind of access. I wish we could have went a little bit further, but that tree was in the way. And I really wanted to take the boat just a little bit further to try to get in a couple more of those holes up there. But and we drug it over a bunch of sandbars. You know, we had to hop some trees, go under some trees. I actually had to get over a tree and over a sandbar before you ever even caught a bass. So I mean there was no way I could have got as far as I did, and it probably caught any today. I was in my Caymus, so glad we brought the old Alumacraft, but we went a little bit further than a bass boat, a normal bass boat can make it, and had a good day, so that was fun. If you like that type of video, there's a few more creeks I got my eye on, so let me know if y'all want to see me go back in a few more, or some of these small rivers or what, but we're out. That was fun.